Hello, this is this is Ian, and the question is: Is our TEFL courses a scam? And my answer is yes and no, and I'm going to explain why that is. Yes, 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 insider. Okay, number one, now there's a lot of marketing with TEFL courses, a lot, and a lot of hype, and a lot of half-truths. According to Google, Google's dictionary, a scam is a dishonest scheme or fraud. So dishonest, yes, there are a lot of half-truths in regards to TEFL courses, and outright lies. So, I'm going to go through a list and I'm going to tell you a list of the different ones and whatnot. Internationally recognized certification. Any course that boasts internationally recognized certification is, it doesn't mean anything. There's no stamp that goes on a course that makes it internationally recognized or not. Any course, a TEFL course, that's what it relates to. It's the teaching English as a foreign language relates to teaching abroad okay so it's mainly a marketing term there's no uh, there's no stamp there's nothing nothing official about that statement there's no accreditation for uh, that that makes you know there's no accreditation that makes one internationally recognized or not again it's mainly hype next one would be accreditation uh, there's no there's no one body for TEFL accreditation. Uh, there's no one organization uh, that does that. The only people that you'll see, like if you start looking in the TEFL courses, will say we're accredited, and you go look what their accreditation is. Now, 90% of the courses out there, roughly 90%, the majority of them out there are, if they have accreditation, and they're not required to be accredited for to have a TEFL course, if they have it, 90% is from a small business. Another business, there's a money, there's an exchange of money, and uh, in some cases, these uh, the accreditors can be the same company. They just use a different name, or it could be a group, several TEFL course providers. Some of those people they form their own accreditation uh, business. And uh, organization, if you will, and yeah, so that's accreditation. It's not all that it seems. Uh, nobody's you're not required to actually be accredited, and there's no not one accreditation for TEFL. Okay, here's another one. You need it. A lot of TEFL courses will just say you need it. You need to take a TEFL course. You need to be TEFL certified to teach abroad. This is not true. Okay, I've taught. I've taught in. China, Korea, and Taiwan, and I could have taught in all those places with or without TEFL, TESOL, or CELTA certification, okay? Uh, yeah, I know that. It, the bottom line is it depends on the school. You know, some schools may prefer it or require it, but it's usually secondary to experience. So uh, experience pretty much always trumps any TEFL, TESOL, or CELTA ex uh, certificate. Okay? And a TEFL certificate is not, it doesn't replace a degree or uh, it's not a teaching license. Okay? Those are different. Uh, okay, another half truth you'll get a better job. Uh, some say, some TEFL courses say, you're going to get a better job if you uh, take our course or whatever. I'd say it's possible, but it's pretty, probably not. Uh, again, it's going to depend on the school. Uh, next one would be, you'll make more money with it. My experience teaching, like when I first got to Taiwan, uh, I made the same amount as anybody else. All my other friends who didn't take TEFL courses or TESOL courses or CELTA courses I made the same. There, there could be cases where you could make more money to uh, with one. But for the most part, schools are going to, you could... I mean, if you want to make more money, get experience. Uh, for the most part, that's going to be your, your best like bargaining bet is having experience uh, to 
get a higher salary. You can teach any in the world, anywhere in the world. Some tough courses say you can teach anywhere in the world with our certificate and stuff like that. You can't teach anywhere in the world. There's certain limitations, and uh, each country's different. And yeah, there's limitations. You, you look it up. You want to figure out where you want to teach, and then find out if you can teach English there. You know? If you want someone to hold your hand, I think I think a lot of people are like putting too much trust into uh, a, a course to, to make everything happen for them or a recruiter to make everything happen to them uh, happen for them like they want someone to hold their hand I'd say uh, you don't need that you know um, you gotta be more independent because if you do that you're more likely to get scammed I think if you're, you blindly trust someone to work things out for you. You gotta just take it step by step and uh, be independent. Do your research. Okay, a lot of a lot of courses are gonna show beautiful pictures of uh, beaches in Thailand and whatnot and say teach abroad and all that. Here are two examples. These are from two different companies. These are affiliate links that I was using uh, photos I was going to use in another article. And, I mean, those pictures are inspiring, yet chances are, you know, teaching abroad is not a vacation. Uh, chances are you're not going to be teaching anywhere near a beach. Chances are you're going to be in a big city somewhere uh, in Asia, if you go to Asia. Uh, now, like I said, it's possible, but you're like, going to be part of, like, you know, the 5%, if you end up anywhere near a beach, teaching near a beach, somewhere really beautiful, exotic, like, you know, they sh they've shown these beaches in Thailand and whatnot, it'd be like, you know, less than 5% of all the teachers out there. You know, so most teachers don't teach anywhere near a beach or anywhere like that. Another thing to consider is, you know, <clears throat> depending on the type, kind of school you get, you don't get that much vacation. So your time to actually go to a beach is depends where you're going to be, right? Uh, I mean, to be able to take a vacation to another country, like, for example, in Asia, eh, you don't really get that much vacation time in general. If you work in a private school, uh, you know, you're looking at maybe 10 vacation days a year or something like that. So your time is usually after, in between contracts, if you get two contracts or two years or whatever. That's uh, our courses. There's a lot of courses out there. Uh, this is especially true with uh, online courses. So uh, some will say we're 120 hours, 150 hours. These hours, normally, in the case of online courses, uh, are not accurate. And basically, they are. Uh, it's like Celta, a course like Celta, in-class course like Celta, typically. Uh, offers courses that are 120 hours in length, four weeks, eight hours a day. I think that adds up to 120 hours, right? You're in a class and you're learning something. <clears throat> this is online classes are like uh, open. They're open courses. You can take them, work on them when you want. That's the great thing about them. Yet to say that they're 120 hours, uh, put some links. You can you can uh, check out some comments on Reddit and on my site about what people said actually how long their courses so. so anyways I just told you a few examples there pretty quickly of different examples of half truths and whatnot. Um, another one guaranteed jobs like some say we have guaranteed jobs and stuff like that uh, I'd say if you have a degree you're a native speaker you're pretty much guaranteed a job you know you don't need again like I said earlier you don't need to depend on someone or a TEFL course provider to do that, so it's like kind of a half truth. And whatever whatever they offer for guaranteed jobs is going to be a very small percentage compared to all the jobs you could get out there on your own. You know, I mean, I did that. So they, they said we have guaranteed jobs, and I looked where I wanted to teach at the time. Very few jobs where I wanted to teach. There are some examples there. Now, uh, all, so many courses use either one of these. One of these. Uh, Half truths, or several of them, many. I mean, pretty much, almost all of them that I've seen. 
So it, it's possible that this, is it a scam or not, is the question. Is it a scam or not? So, or are you going to get scammed? It's possible that you could, even though I said like these things are half-truths and whatnot, it's possible you could go with one of these courses and uh, take the course and then it becomes like a placebo effect. And oh, you do find a better, you find a job and they say, okay, you've got this TEFL certification, we're going to pay you more money. That's possible. Or <clears throat> you're going to be looking for jobs and some of the jobs say you need a TEFL certificate. That's possible. And... <clears throat> So it could be a self-fulfilling prophecy or whatever. You know what I mean? The placebo effect. On the other hand, <coughs> excuse me, you're going to feel scammed if you go with one of these providers, they tell you one of these half-truths or lies, and you get abroad and you realize that it's, it's different than what they told you. You know, it doesn't, their promise doesn't come true. You know, you didn't make more money. Or... You didn't learn anything, and you get abroad and you find that teaching is difficult, or uh, you found out you didn't need it. Okay? So, the course provider that I initially took my course with said a bunch of things, like on their brochure, you need it to teach in Taiwan and Korea and all this stuff. And this was a long time ago, too. And uh, that wasn't the case. So, that's my. That's my that's my answer is are yeah, TIFA courses a scam or not? I mean, if a dishonesty, a dishonest scheme, I'd say, I'd say the majority of courses out there have some sort of dishonest, they're telling you some sort of uh, story, and you may be interested in that story, but you have to understand that it is a story. Could be just using it to manipulate you to buy something and whatnot. So, uh, on the other hand, you're not likely likely to get like outright outrightly scammed. Like you pay money to a course provider and you don't get anything like online or something like that. I'd say that's very unlikely. Now, there's different courses with you know varying levels of quality. They can differ greatly from one another, even though they're both called TEFL courses or TESOL courses. Uh, they look the, may look the same. What you're actually learning in the course could be uh, quite different in the courses between you know, different courses. So anyways, that's my answer in regards to getting scammed.